You are looking live at Chicago. This is courtesy of EarthCam this morning, where the gunshot detection system, it's called ShotSpotter, it's now been turned off. Mayor Brandon Johnson sticking to his plan to end what he has called a costly contract that has proven ineffective after a back and forth with city council just last week. This comes as the country's third largest city records nearly 1,700 shootings so far this year alone. That's according to the Chicago Police Department. Chicago Alderman Raymond Lopez disagrees with the decision. He joins me now in studio. Good morning to you, morning. sirs. Thank you so much for being here with me. My pleasure. Um, before we get to, I know you're a proponent of, of, of this system. Let's start with how it works in the first place. Sure. So throughout many of the uh, city's police districts, there are a number of poles that have basically microphones listening for any type of gunshot that may go off in a neighborhood. Okay. And because of how they're placed, they're, they're able to triangulate where that shooting took place within three feet of the actual site and can di differentiate between fireworks, handguns, and semi-automatic weapons. And this tool has been invaluable over the last 10 years, working in coordination with our strategic uh, decision centers in our police districts to identify areas that are in need of additional support, likelihood of shootings, and things of that nature. And it started off as a gift from billionaire Ken Griffin under the oh, wow. manual administration. Okay. The city of Chicago has kept it going over the last 10 years, costing taxpayers about $53 million, about $5.5 million a year. And as we've seen more and more shootings and more and more crime in the city of Chicago, you know, to say now that we don't need it uh, is just remarkable, especially when we know that this usually brings police to a scene four minutes faster and at a time when about 10 to 15 percent of the 911 the, the alerts don't have a corresponding 911 yeah. call. I think everything you just listed off, I imagine people at home, especially those of us who live here in Chicago, are saying, wait, what's <laughs> wrong with that? So the mayor saying this is ineffective, it's too expensive. What are you seeing that he's not? Well, I think what I'm seeing is how this technology actually works versus what he's trying to sell it as. This is a detection technology, kind of like a smoke detector. And we wouldn't throw out all of our smoke detectors simply because our house didn't burn to the ground. We're just happy when it goes off if something should happen. And that's exactly how this technology works. What the mayor and the opponents of this technology are saying is that it's not reducing crime, it's not catching criminals, and, it, and it's not stopping people from shooting. Well, of course not. It's not a preventative tool, it's a detection tool. And the more it sounds you, the alarm, it sounds literally, the, uh -huh. quite literally yeah. sounds the alarm and oftentimes has sent aid to victims when no 911 call was made. And we've seen where nearly 1,976 people have gotten aid with no 911 call in the last 14 months. I don't want to be the one to say that their lives weren't worth helping simply because I wanted to keep a campaign promise. I know he's also said this is too expensive. I want to replace it with something that's more uh, efficient. It, to your knowledge, is there another system out there that would work better than this that Chicago could replace it with? So to my knowledge, there isn't exactly something that works the way that the current vendor does. However, I think that the mayor is right. We should always look for new technology. We should always be evolving because technology evolves faster than government, clearly. But to say that we're going to end it without a replacement is not only irresponsible, it is dangerous and foolish to think that you could just turn the lights off and expect a new light bulb to magically appear within a one year's time. It'll take six months to get a, a RFP, a request for a proposal. It'll take another four months to fill that contract. And by then, we'll at least have another thousand shootings in the city of Chicago. Wow. Just a few seconds left. One more question I want to squeeze in. Is there any, ch I know that that contract expired this weekend. Is there any chance to get it back online and, and keep it in play? So the company offered to work something out with the mayor to say, look, we'll stay on, we'll, we'll keep the lights, we'll keep the technology going to the end of this year and into next year to give you time to find the off ramp. If you are willing to work with us, so far he's not been able to do so. Okay. Uh, Alderman Raymond Lopez, uh, please keep us posted what we'll you're do. hearing, you know, Thank on you, the Mark. inside. Um, we'd love to have you back on. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.